You know, the shock and pain of this crime of hate strikes deep. Nine people, women and men, cut down at prayer, murdered in a house of God. It just broke my heart. That, of course, is the last place we should ever see violence, but we shouldn't see it anywhere. In the days ahead, we will once again ask what led to this terrible tragedy and where we as a nation need to go. In order to make sense of it, we have to be honest. We have to face hard truths about race, violence, guns, and division. Today we join our hearts, the people of Charleston and South Carolina, people everywhere who pray for the victims, pray for the families, pray for a community that knows too much sorrow, and we pray for justice, that the people of Charleston find peace and that our country finds unity. Today we say to the families of Mother Emanuel and to all the people of Charleston, you do not walk alone. You do not walk alone because millions of Americans, regardless of race or creed or ethnicity or religion, are walking with you in grief, in solidarity, in determination. We are with you. And we will stand with you as we seek answers and take action. How many innocent people in our country, from little children to church members to movie theater attendees, how many people do we need to see cut down before we act?